first management committee meeting is an important event in the lifetime of an action. It is the first time that the network meets physically. It is the time where they will elect the key leadership positions, they will assign responsibilities, and they will take their first decisions. It is my pleasure to be elected as chair of the Cost Action Future Met. Our mission is to create a transdisciplinary platform to bridge climate knowledge with impacts on society in the Mediterranean. To this end, stakeholders, researchers and citizens will work jointly, synergetically, to tackle some of the most pressing questions for the area and the socio-economic priority sectors such as health, migration or agriculture. This is my first involvement with a cost action. It's a great opportunity to bring people from lots of different disciplines together from lots of different countries across the world to address a global issue and to build capacity across Europe whilst affecting international policy. All of the great advantages of this particular network are the various academic disciplines that lie within it. For example, uh, we have uh, law, we have forensic psychology, criminology, people who study policing as a science, as a social science, as sociology, human rights, forensic linguistics. So you can see the vast array of academic disciplines uh, which come together to form and bond stronger networks. And we've seen already the synergy provided by these people who are expert in their own subjects, developing their own subject, as well as, of course, providing an overall benefit to the cost action. I'm really happy to be involved in this cost action as a young researcher because um, it really allows me to involve with senior academics. And apart from that, it's a great opportunity to increase my network and to increase my mobility uh, opportunities throughout my career. The cost staff provides guidance and supports the network in order to ensure that it achieves the best possible outcomes. This stewardship will continue on for the next four years. Here at COST, we also provide trainings, such as how to manage a COST grant, best practice in science communication, and also how to best engage with policymakers, to name a few. Today, 70 new actions will begin their journey. This journey will continue for a period of four years, during which time these actions will expand and grow. What's great news is that if you are currently not part of the network, but are keen on joining one, do have a look at our website so you can understand a little bit more about these actions and then send in an application to join this network. At COST, we are committed to diversity and inclusion. Our actions do a really good job in ensuring geographical distribution, gender balance, as well as integrating young researchers into their networks. All these steps, of course, are steps in the right direction towards finding solutions to address scientific, technological, as well as societal challenges.